Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a vlog and Dean is making so much noise in the kitchen. We're cooking lunch. We're just cooking some beef. Yep. Penny's waiting for the leftovers. We're cooking this one for lunch, so yeah. Okay, that's not as loud. So today it is Saturday. I just filmed a video. It was a mascara review, like first impressions. Actually, so good. Uh, that video might be out before this one, actually. Um, but very, very impressed. Like, it looks like I have false lashes on. Love it. And it was for the Benefit New Year, their Real Magnet mascara. So good. So, Daisy's currently asleep. She is four months old today. Oh my gosh, it's gone so, so quick. She's going up so quickly. We had her maternal health child nurse appointment yesterday and i don't know about you guys but i kind of take what they say with a grain of salt i tend to do a bit of research myself and i like to ask you guys questions especially on my instagram um, but i know ultimately what i do when i do things or introduce things to her it's in our own time it's not because they say to or it's time kind of thing um and as a first time mom i wish i learned that out earlier with breastfeeding or with our feeding schedule because i really stuffed that up that's a whole nother story i wonder if i'll film that today i need to film a story on my breastfeeding thing because i don't want other people to make the same mistake that i did because now my breastfeeding journey is over. I did want to get to four months and I am so glad that I've made it to four months. Um, and I still have milk in the freezer as well. I have about 30 bags in the freezer, which is awesome. But yeah, like if I get, if I start talking about it, I'll just cry, which I did in my last video. And thank you so much for all of the support in the comments that you gave me on about breastfeeding, about my little conversation about it. It's been really hard. Um, and I think a lot of you guys understand that it is really hard. And I wasn't ready for our journey to end, but it is what it is. It's done now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Mum just came home with these donuts. Have any of you guys had these? These are vanilla sliced donuts. Oh my God. If you've ever seen them in a bakery. I don't know. We're in, there's a few places, a few bakeries that have like these type of donuts. And there's like... What other ones are there? There's ones with like M&Ms on them and Nutella ones and things like that. Um, and there's these vanilla slice ones. They are so good. To film my video today, we <laughs> took the bed out of the spare room and set it up as my filming room. There's the bed base and the mattress is there. <laughs> There's just something about this room with the light in it. I don't know what it is, but it, I've tried filming in the other rooms and none of them have light like this room. So, yeah. clothes on so I'm gonna go and do some painting and Dean is putting down Daisy at the moment she I don't know if I've told you this I've said it on my Instagram but she is resisting naps so so hard as soon as you put her down like on top of her sleeping bag in the cot cracks it and we find that she's just gonna like cry for a few minutes and then she calms down and then you can put her down um, but she just knows as soon as you go even like sometimes even when you go to step in her room and it's dark, she knows and she can crack it even there. She's just getting too smart <laughs> and I can only imagine how bad it's going to be when she's toddler. <laughs> she's going to hate it. It's like they get FOMO or something. I don't know. The past week or so we had really, really summery, like hot weather. So my mum and I just went nuts and did as many paintings as we could because they would dry quicker. And now it's just like turned quite wintry. It's rainy. It's quite cold. We aren't going to get as many paintings done. If you didn't know, my mum and I do infused energy art paintings and we are having a stall at the Melbourne 
Mind Body Spirit Festival in June. So we are trying to build up as much stock as we can by doing as many paintings. Um, so I'll show you some of our work. I've been trying out Dutch paws lately. So I did these two yesterday. I plan to do some more, but then Daisy ruined that plan. So there's those ones. My mum did this one yesterday and I swear it looks like a frog, doesn't it? Like one of those colorful frogs. Uh, she did this one and then this one over here and these little ones. I've done these two really big Dutch paws. These look beautiful. These are probably my fave ones that I've done. There's the rain. Um, so we've got some paintings in here, but behind everyone there's like all other paintings. So yeah, here are some. I really, really love this one. Gorgeous. There's that one. And there's all other ones behind here. These ones down here. These ones too. There's some more there. Now, over here, I covered up all of the paintings. Usually they're like on display. Not on display, but they're just there. But I covered them all up because I do my Dutch paws here. And when I first started doing the Dutch paws, paint was flying onto other paintings and it wasn't good. So we've learned a lesson to cover everything up. So we've just got like blank canvases with their packaging over the top to cover them all up. The problem is with Dutch paws is you don't really know what colors are going to work together. So it's kind of like a bit of a trial and error to see which ones go together because some can look muddy. I'll show you a really bad one. So this one here, this was just like a practice with dark dark blue and yellow and red and it just did not work and here is just the yellow and red and that looks quite nice i think that this one had yellow red and purple in it and that one's actually quite nice so now i've got to have a little bit of fun time and play around with what colors i'm going to do today I did some really cool ones the other day but they weren't i think that they weren't vibrant enough for what I want but I'll show you anyway so they're all a little bit different I know that this one and this one look the same but there's a little bit of difference in them but yeah they're really nice and I did this like nude series of these and they look so good I love all of the ones I did with that there's some gray and pink and my mum did that one on the end my mum's done these pink ones here they're beautiful hot pinks love this black and white one and this pink one it just didn't turn out very well so I think I'll pour over it it's a little bit blah kind of thing um, but I just wanted to see what pink would do and maybe I didn't put enough paint on there but yeah it's just not not enough for me and then down there it's just like gray on gray they look, they look pretty cool too and then there's all these paintings down here as well there's so many paintings everywhere. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I blow it out. I am taking a big risk trying these colors. So we've got the green, this kind of rust color, this lemony color, and purple. I swear, like, it changes every single second. When I first blew out, I didn't like it, but... It just keeps getting better. I don't know if you can see it better from this light. I actually don't mind it. It's a little bit muddy throughout here, but the colors are starting to come out and it kind of looks cool. I don't mind that actually. As I mentioned, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the online platform if you're looking to create a website. It has so many templates to choose from. I personally have created my own website through them. I actually started out with a blog a few years ago and switched to Squarespace last year. And now I have an online store selling artwork, which is a physical product, as well as selling digital downloads for my preset through Lightroom. Another feature that they have is an amazing image editor. I actually love this because you can adjust so many settings as well as crop an image 
and it's so quick and simple to do and it can really benefit your website by having something that's either cropped the right way or you know you put it on the website and you realize that it the settings aren't quite right and you can adjust the brightness and you can quick and easily do that through Squarespace. They do also have the ability to link social accounts. So on my homepage, I actually have my Instagram linked and they have so many analytics. So you can search products, purchase funnel, you can search where your viewers are coming from. It has so many insights, which will help you target your viewers on your website. So I do actually have a coupon code, which can get you 10% off your website or domain. I'll leave it on the screen and listed down below, but they do have a 14 day free trial, which definitely feel free to try and check it out and see how easy it is for yourself. Okay, so I've done one big one and I'm pretty happy with it. So it has green, a light blue, and then a pink in it. And the blue and pink of have... sometimes it looks a bit like a purple, which is really, really pretty. But the green just works amazingly with these Dutch paws. And now the sun is coming out. Wow. That's so weird that the sun's coming out after a day like today um, but I have finished painting so I've done two big ones and then three little ones today and um, I've used up all my space so I'm gonna go inside I think it's nearly five o'clock actually look who we have here a little munchkin a little four-month-old munchkin what you doing in your big girl clothes yes Penny I know you love her Good dog, good dog. And we got Coco here. We got everyone here. Looking at how cute you are. Oh, really? Grr, grr. Oh, Penny, you just want to be in the vlog. Hey, gentle, gentle. Oh, yes, I know you like doing a nappy check. Yes, you love Pen, don't you? Yeah. What are you looking at? The circles? You know the circles? Yes. How many of you guys have dogs that have stolen your kids' toys? She hasn't done it yet. I am waiting for the day where she does do it though. But she seems very interested. You ready? Zet! <gasps> Yay! Yay! Huh? You wanna sing my ABCs? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABC. Thanks, <laughs> and won't you sing with me? Yeah, you like that? Huh? You like the ABC song, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so just put Daisy down, bathed her, fed her, put her down. So I'm going to show you some things that I bought her the other day. I showed it, it was yesterday, I showed it on my Instagram, but in case you're on Instagram or, you know, you just want to see it again, I'll show you. These are from Big W. So I saw them on like Sadie Baby, like a very similar like style color. These ones only eight bucks <laughs> and she probably won't get to wear them until like next year but i just didn't want to miss out on them because you know sometimes you see things and then you don't see them again then from best unless i got these tights i was struggling to find some small enough for her and i think that these ones are still going to be a little bit big but they're three to six months ones and they're really nice and thick so i got this rose colored pair and then like a cream we actually went into best and less to get some bathers so 
they had a very minimal selection in the zero to three months, which is her size, even though she's four months. She's a petite little girl, um, but we got these little mustard colored ones for on clearance for $10. And how cute is this? This little pinafore dress with this top underneath. They only had this one size, which is 12 to 18 months. So yeah, hopefully she'll be walking by then. If not, it's probably big enough for her to wear for a while afterwards. Yeah, it was on clearance for $15 and it's got these beautiful little daisies in it. I just love the colors of it, this beautiful neutral color. And like, I mean, if you need to, you can put like a long sleeve underneath it, put some tights underneath it. Um, yeah, really, really cute. I did get this from Kmart just the other week as well. And this was on clearance for $8. I think I wanna go back and get some other sizes because they had heaps of sizes there. But it's just this little pinafore and I wanted to put like the rib tights underneath and a long sleeve underneath it as well for, you know, autumn, winter kind of style. So, so cute. And then I got these little boots. These are size one. <laughs> They were $9, which I don't know you can buy women's shoes for cheaper than that. But anyway, um, I just thought that they were so cute. And sometimes like an outfit just looks a bit silly without shoes. So obviously shoes for babies are a little bit pointless apart from them, you know, completing the outfit. But they were just too cute. I just couldn't go past them. I honestly thought I would be a little bit more reserved with buying clothes for her. Actually, you know what? I have been pretty good. I've been better than what people think I have been. I've got a lot of practical stuff. I haven't got much cutesy, like, you know, stuff to wear for an outing kind of thing. Like I've got a lot of practical pants and tops and onesies and things like that. Um, but anyway, okay, it is 10.30. I've just done Daisy's feed and then she'll feed again at like between two and four. But I'm gonna go to bed, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Don't forget to check out Squarespace, a link down below. We have the coupon code to get 10% off our website or domain. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.